Flame here, and welcome back to another Death Battle. Today we're reacting to Cole McGrath versus Alex Mercer, infamous contra prototype. I'm gonna be biased. I'm gonna be rooting for my boy Cole. Why? Because I love Infamous One. Infamous One was so heat, bro. You have no idea how many how many hours I put in that game. Like, I think, I, I don't know how many times I even restarted. I feel like I did it a lot. I don't know. But yes, I have never heard of Prototype. So, obviously, I'm going to have a huge bias over Infamous. But we'll see what happens. Paul McGrath, the patron saint of Infamous. No right. Alex Mercer, the Black Light Virus Prototype from Prototype. That's uh -huh. right, champions. You voted for it, so we're finally Oh, this it. was a voted death these battle. characters were ever relevant. Oh hey, look what I found in the trash. Mm. An old okay, for so this far very I get Venom vibes from Prototype. Wait, we haven't emptied our trash in ten years. Yes, sir. Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons. Infamous Armor got a comic. Okay, who would win? Uh, Is that like battle. an official comic type deal? With great 3D power comes great responsibility. Tommy McGuire's mm. not the only superhero who's had Spy to learn. Spy Dumbass. Cole McGrath was just your average delivery boy in Empire mm. City until one oh, day he delivery opened boy? a package that exploded in his face. This was the Ray Sphere, a device that, upon erupting, destroyed much of the city and tore through Cole at the atomic level, Whoa. killing him instantly. What? Yeah, actually, he scooped up some superpowers. Cool, zippity zappity superpowers. Okay. More Static shock. Cole became a conduit, one of many beings who were granted supernatural abilities from the Ray Sphere explosion. Which mm. also turned Empire City into a godforsaken hellscape. This okay. world needed a hero. It's been so long since I've seen it. I don't know. I don't remember nothing from the, the story. Rogue superpowered conduits, including it's the been mastermind so long. the blast, Kessler. Let's be Kessler. real. None of Cole's powers are as sick, nasty as his parkour skills. But True. His ability to manipulate I love the parkour part of the game. Too. Cole controls electromagnetic energy. Not only can he generate a smorgasbord of powerful lightning attacks, he what? can also <laughs> manipulate thermal, kinetic, and gravitational energy. So mm -hmm. Electromagnetism Almighty is pretty push. broad, after all. This includes his radar pulse, which detects the bioelectricity inside organisms, even if they're hidden or transformed. And for good measure, he got to add Hero some ice kinesis. To his He can throw ice grenades, shoot ice spikes, and let out some epic ice parts. Huh? He can levitate like electric iron man, yeah. grind on rails like shadow. Like electro. Lead your mind like Goku's muffin. Electro. Electro. Up with extra karmic energy, also like Shadow the Hedgehog, and generate force fields like Shadow the Hedgehog. But yeah. these aren't just force fields. They literally convert any matter they touch into energy that Cole absorbs. Ooh. That's insane. How's that? Converts Are you energy. familiar with a little equation called okay, that's good. MC MC squared. squared. Think of no. Einstein. Oh, well, uh, it defines the mathematical relationship between matter and energy. Essentially, how much energy any given mass contains. Okay. The largest mass object Cole absorbs is a 343-gram helicopter chain gun round. Okay. Perfectly converting matter to energy is technically impossible, but hey, this is a video game. The mass contained in that bullet, true, when multiplied by the speed of light squared, would release an energy equivalent to over 7 megatons of TNT. This means Cole's energy output is basically fueled by a nuclear reactor. Oh, mm -hmm. so he's like a I think we already knew that. Super bomb, always ready to go up. Sounds like my first X wave. Should he somehow run low on energy, he can drain it from nearby know. appliances to recharge. He's even learned to drain the bioelectricity from people like this. Yikes. Cole can yeah. focus his electricity through his amp, a giant tuning fork which lets him ring around. Yeah, the I love that weapon, Melee. But weapon was so cool. Hands. That's cool too. And it's called amp. Makes Pokemon sense. Rules, Cole's extra resistant to electric attacks. With these powers, Cole chewed through Kessler's force. Because electric resists electric. Whose black tar powers could infect and control minds. And he black eventually tar. faced down that son of a bitch himself so and pwned his ass. Despite Kessler having to be fair, I don't think I've ever powers, beaten the game. I don't think I just, I think I just went around just by where I wanted. Alternate future timeline, manipulating events from the shadows to ensure this version of Cole became a better hero than Kessler ever was. Yeah, mm. you see, Cole's superpowers are molded through his actions, increasing in power and utility based on how good or evil he acts. Naturally, as a good person, Cole shaped his powers to be more focused yeah, and targeted. Yeah, from that guys. one that PS3 game. Sick. Evil Cole is way more awesome, sus. He blows everything up. Collateral damage? Who cares? He can control fire. <laughs> well, that just happened. 
Uh, who wrote this shit? The point you is, did? Kessler's no. whole plan was meant to prevent the apocalypse, mm. which would appear in the form of the Beast, a conduit of unimaginable power. Oh, yeah, I for sure don't remember that. Massive thunderstorms, fast enough to route electricity, moving at 90% the speed of light. That's and cool. maybe thanks to Kessler, tough enough to take on the Beast. Which possessed the power of the Ray Sphere itself. Mm -hmm. It could regenerate at an atomic level and eradicate all of Empire City in a single attack. Fortunately, Ooh. after a grueling battle, Cole defeated the Beast once and for all. Though ultimately, it wasn't Cole's power that made him a hero. The In order to stop talk. a plague created by the Ray Sphere, Cole sacrificed his life, eradicating the Conduit genes and saving mm. all of humanity. Sure, he also killed thousands of Conduits in the process, but hey, what's a few corpses when building a better tomorrow? This trolley stops for no one. Cole then there's was infamous second son. The people of Numeray. As a hero by the friends he left behind and an inspiration to future generations. A true testament to the responsibility of power. Mm -hmm. Let's go. With great power comes great responsibility. responsibility. But not everybody's got an Uncle Ben to tell him that. Alex no. Mercer woke up in hell. Manhattan Island was gripped by the Ooh. horrific Black Light virus, transforming its citizens into terrifying monsters. Zombies? Alex okay, no. had no memories. He was a man without a past. And it's always no, no memories. Codename Zeus. The Black Light Why? virus can rewrite your cells all the way down to your DNA. And somehow it granted Alex incredible superhuman abilities. He can infect anyone he touches with this virus, altering their biology. Is it like the automatic or insects, can he control it? Complete control over their actions. So Alex pushed on, desperate to avenge himself and the city by Cut finding whatever monster unleashed there we this go. nightmare and eat them. Yeah, he can consume people to give himself a power boost. Mm. He's like Kirby, if Kirby listened to Linkin Park. <laughs> yeah. This extra biomass gives him superhuman What's strength, that? a greater metabolic rate, increased reaction times, and even a regenerative healing factor. Essentially, Alex is an ever-evolving super Ooh. being, the ultimate being. Oh, oh, like Shadow the Hedgehog. By consuming victims, mm -hmm, Alex also mm -hmm. receives all their memories and experiences. Like I Zombie. Peter Randall, a 69-year-old nice. nice. man whose entire history Alex processed in just 11 seconds. Being able to condense that much information into that time frame That's means Alex crazy. can perceive events happening within five nanoseconds. Which is about how long I was married to my second ex-wife. Alex can shapeshift his body at will, creating disguises, increasing mm -hmm. his muscle mass, and forming nearly unbreakable armor. And Ooh, when he wants to kill someone, hey, oh, that he can form become his cold. own weapon, turning his limbs into claws and blades, or generating countless tendrils that give him unmatched control over his environment. With these goopy powers, he came up with a bunch of Street Fighter moves, like the yeah. air dash, the cannonball, air the dash, dive drum, okay, and cannonball the fire. dirt nap. Pretty sure that was my third ex-wife's boyfriend's Just stripper a name. And judo after throw, come on, enough, man. People, Alex reaches critical mass and can unleash his evil slop in powerful ultimate attacks. Like the Tendril Barrage Devastator. Oh, it's beautiful. Despite being seen as the world's most wanted terrorist, fair, Alex used yeah. his powers to stop the spread of the virus and end the city's nuclear devastation. Ooh. It was then he learned the truth. He wasn't Alex Mercer at all. He was the Black Light virus itself, which uh. absorbed the memories and likeness of the real mm -hmm. Alex Mercer, who was not only dead, but actually responsible for all of this in the first place. To decipher this, I recreated the Black Light virus myself, the most dangerous. Hey, oh. Uh, why yeah, is he yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Why do so scientists want to twinkle with viruses? Was like, let it be, dun, okay? Dun, dun, dun. Just oh, right, study it. No experiment. Let it Mercer be. Helped create the black light virus, and when things didn't work out and he was about to die, he recklessly unleashed it upon the city. What a uh, petty SOB! What he didn't know was that the virus would that's why he has no memories. and memories and become a new Alex. How? Why? Don't question it. It's a nothing burger. But is this massive viral material that calls itself Alex actually human in any meaningful way? Mm. The poor bastard sure tried to be. Too bad humans can be dicks and everyone kept betraying him. Even the so-called love of his life who shot him in the face. Woohoo. So Alex figured, uh, obviously, humanity had to go. Not just yeah. go, okay. but be made better. Whatever virus. goodness remaining with this Alex was Alex left behind as he went rogue to unleash a second black light virus, recreating humanity into a super species in his own image. Okay. Great power 
became great okay, terror. Okay, Classic no, no. anime great responsibility. And he was strong enough to do it. Alex can casually tear things apart. Dodge He's like Venom. Tank shells, and even defeated the Supreme Hunter, who was tough enough to survive a nuclear blast that would have leveled Manhattan. Based on the what game the pro tank game, on? Was it 450 kilotons of TNT. Also on the PS3? The nukes, Alex survived one. His of course he did. Off the chain. And after being blasted into paste, all he needed was the tiniest bit of himself to come back good as new. Mm. His healing occurs at the cellular level, making him virtually impossible to Cell? kill so long as he Perfect. keeps consuming. But attempting to take over the world and kill millions of people pissed off a certain James Heller, a dude okay. who had just had he a has a healing factor. Weird uh, Cole shit. doesn't. Use the same virus powers to consume. But he Alex. can Once does convert Live by the Kirby energy Die by the Kirby symbiote. into was Alex just energy for himself or matter all? to energy. I mean, what's more Whatever. human than the urge to conquer the world? He can convert the species to the slaughter, but consume its raw genetic mm, resources, and crown yourself well, king. Well, but we'll be able to dish Alex out enough damage the day he truly became human. faster than the healing wow, factor. It always comes to that if we can someone deal yeah, enough damage for the healing factor. All right, the combatants are Let's do it. Let's end this debate. I'm still Let's going for Cole. It's Cause Cole is my guy. And is in 3D, which is cool. Poor New York. New York always seems to be the place. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think I've still got room. Amp it up. Spirit. Buddy, you are one sick freak. Oh, no, not the leg. Not the ankle. Damn. Ooh, slay that. Yeah. Oh, Panama. Okay. Long grab, miss. Get over here. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, parkour. Oh, he just runs up. That's unfair. I mean, I feel like a disadvantage is that Cole could lose the amp, slash the amp could get destroyed, so he would lose a melee weapon. On like uh, Alex. Because he is the melee weapon. But I'm pretty sure Cole could call the amp to his hand. Like like the Thor's hammer. I think he, I'm pretty sure he could do that. Ooh. Ice powers. Mm, transformation. You don't know the half of it. Damn! Getting combo, bro. Yeah, yeah, me. Tornado. So much power, and yet you wasted on these vermin. Mm. I can change this world for the better. The only vermin I see here is you. Okay, yeah! Charge yourself up. Go all out! Okay. Like, did, it even, did it even talk about what is this Alex's strongest transformation or no? I don't know if they said that he transformed, but I don't know if they specify which is his strongest transformation. Ooh! You don't want to give me your- No! <laughs> Fine. I'll just take it. No. Good idea. Let's go. Oh, he takes his energy. Blew himself this up. This world sure isn't perfect, but it's a lot better without you in it, asshole. Let's go. Yes, I was right. He could. He. he 
He can break the energy. The script was in the trash. I had to hear someone say awesome sauce. <laughs> both opponents were incredibly versatile and deadly. Mm -hmm. And both could match each other's powers blow for blow. They could each create weapons, amplify their strength, and fight at range. But could yeah. both survive Alex's infection? Well, Alex would usually need to weaken an opponent to get that trick to work. Even then, mm. the base fear incident that created Cole's powers in the first place ripped apart everyone else down to the atomic level. Okay. And the beast attacks were capable of the same thing. Thing. Considering the blacklight virus only works down to molecular DNA, it's uh, reasonable to say Cole would be able to resist it. Sure, Alex could potentially consume molecular Cole's DNA. biomass to give himself an edge, but Cole could just do the same thing to Alex, absorbing his bioelectricity to power himself back up. But mm -hmm. nothing could challenge the gap in power. Everything Alex survived could simply not match Cole's force fields, and especially not the power of the beast. The blast the beast created actually had a much wider radius than the one the Supreme Hunter could survive. To compete with these foes, this means Cole was simply far more powerful than Alex. Speaking of Let's the beast, Cole's ability to disintegrate it at the atomic level meant that even Alex's crazy molecular regeneration couldn't stand up to Cole's might. Just like how Cole could mm -hmm. overpower Kessler he fights, he also fights on the atomic or level. Or how he resisted Sasha's mind control powers, which were eerily similar to the Blacklight virus. But I bet you're wondering, what if Alex fought evil Cole instead? Well, it'd be even worse, because that Cole took the beast power for himself that's good night for angry virus boy yeah. alex was a versatile deadly opponent but cole's counters speed and raw Counter. power gave him the edge alex got the cold shoulder just like this stupid ha. script the ha, winner ha, ha, is ha, cole ha. mcgrath let's go let's go Thanks yes. for watching. And hey, are you a Death Battle member? We've got a no. battle going on right now where members get to choose a matchup for the next season. So <sighs> click that join button and jump into our Champions Discord. Are we going to see the next season? I mean, the next... Okay. Planet Frieza versus the Septicon. Ah. Uh. Oh, sorry. Megatron is the Decepticon. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, that's funny, but yes, I was right. Cole is that guy. Well, obviously, please obviously watch the original video, like the original video. It's gonna be down in the description below. Go watch yourself, go like yourself, as I said earlier, and support Death Battle and support me. But like and subscribe to me. Another dub for Flame, undefeated. Let's keep it going. See you the next reaction. Bye bye.